ever wanted to escape to an island, a place that would lift your spirits, or just simply give you peace of mind? You can find it in Aruba. From the natural wonders, curious wildlife, awesome sunsets to its beautiful beaches, the cool northeast trade winds and sunny weather keep Aruba a steady tropical 81 degrees year-round. These are just a few of the attractions that make Aruba a favorite international playground. Aruba is a tiny Dutch Caribbean island with a big heart. In fact, it's just a little larger than Washington, D.C. If you're planning to visit us, we're that jewel in the Caribbean just a few miles off the tip of South America. The people here are just as warm and sunny as the weather. About 90,000 citizens call Aruba home, and most everybody speaks four languages. Aruba is a cultural mix which is reflected in its native language. Papiamento was originally a creative language from the 1500s, used to help the African slaves communicate with their owners. English and Spanish are widely spoken, but Dutch is the official language. Aruba is known for its beaches as a tropical paradise that beckons to its more northern neighbors. But our greatest national resource has less to do with sun and fun than the contribution of one individual to our national culture. Born as Juan Shabaya Lampe in 1920, but better known now as Padu del Carib, father of the Aruban culture, he showed early on in life exceptional talent to play and compose music. Although he never learned to read music, it did not stop him from achieving greatness for this tiny Dutch island. His music, as he puts it, comes from the heart. I was born in a home where uh, music has been playing everywhere. My father was a very good pianist. He could read music. And of course, he plays also uh, voice, his tomba major, typical of the music. And uh, 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 he sometimes hear me play when I start no, on the piano. When I start piano, of course, I, at the beginning I was playing you know, very uh, simple tune to the piano. And then sometimes I may take a, a chord which is not correct. And then he would tell, no, no, but this is not the chord. This is the chord. And he, he showed me the chord. That's the only thing, that's the only way that I have been uh, helped uh, by somebody else. For the rest, I have developed my own style by myself. I can tell you that. Author of many musical compositions, both instrumental and lyrical, which of course were written in Papiamento or Spanish. From an Aruba nationalist perspective, as all Arubans are aware, the song titled Aruba Dushitera which he co-authored with the late Rufo Waver, another genius native composer in his own right, became Padu's most important piece. In 1954, I went to the house of a good friend of mine named Rufo Waver. He is you know, uh, the late, I would say the late Rufo Waver. He was a genius. The man could play perfectly the piano, guitar, saxophone, and he, he is a marvelous, he is a genius on the piano. So I went to his home one day, and then I uh, suggested to him for us to make a song. And uh, this one, named Aruba Dushitera, when we composed it, uh, it was to, you know, to, uh, to stimulate the love of the people for Aruba. In March of 1976, Aruba Dushi Terra was officially proclaimed the Aruba National Anthem. The first time that we have seen so many people together there. There were for sure more than 10,000 people there at that time. And this and no other kind of meeting has ever brought so many people together. So 10,000 people there. And the moment where the song was sung, 
and the flag was being, because we, we have also a flag, uh, national flag, was being raised poco poco, you know, very slowly. Uh, then there were some people behind me crying, but of chillness. Uh, and I, I got so emotional. I started to cry all my soul, but for chillness. So uh, it was something spectacular. That is a which is a day that I can never forget. It's been in my heart forever. Now in his 80s, Padu del Carib survives the late Daisy Lanfe Cruz, the love of his life. They had one child together, Vivian, who gave them two grandchildren, Irvin and Sonia who now, as adults, have a great pride in their grandfather's accomplishments. Daisy, you know, was uh, very sick. Uh, sometimes very sick, she was very sick. And uh, she had to be uh, 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 treated and cared for in the hospital. But she didn't want to go to the hospital. She wanted to be cared for and treated at home. And he asked me if I could take care of her. I said, well, I am so glad that you asked me. It is for me not only a, a pleasure, an honor to be able to help you. Only You, or Abo So in the native translation, is probably one of Padu's best known pieces. To date, it is considered by some to be second in line only to the national anthem. Uh, I have a very popular song, you know, that uh, has become very popular. Many orchestra have played in different rhythm, and it has become very popular outside of the rule. The name is uh, Aboso, Yours Alone, and uh, this song uh, went so far that uh, it was once played in Tokyo. A friend of mine, Kuroso, was in, was in a, sitting in a, in a nightclub in Tokyo, and he heard, he heard Abuso. He said, what is this? Abuso, it is from Aruba. I know Abuso, it is from, from my friend, Padu del Caribe. So uh, after the show, he went up on stage and he talked to the director of the band and the director say yes uh, i have been uh, contracted to play in the aruba karimi hot, uh, hotel at that time when uh, we was uh, very uh, newly uh, inaugurated and he was playing there for quite a while and at that time the song was very popular it was being played by radio everybody know and he decided to put it in his repertoire it is probably the favorite song at any wedding, birthday, or any other kind of festive events on the island. Being a true Renaissance man, Padu's creative talents would span into other areas, such as literature, where he has been published three times. His interest in the field of parapsychology and metaphysics had inspired him to author his first book, titled The Third Element, in 1960. There are two fields of energy. A and B, huh? uh, they consist of small particles, atomic particles. I call A space and the other field time. So when the particles meet each other, space and time meet each other. And then at that point, uh, uh, bonds, a third element, that's why the book is called third element. That is the third element which is a, is a vibrating energy in the whole universe. And this is the, the energy that uh, God used to create the whole universe. The next book dealt with the art and science of living in harmony with the universal laws of nature. Titled Harmoniology, it was published in 1976. Uh, in that book, I teach you how you can uh, relax yourself and go in, into a certain mental state uh, that you can uh, 
uh, uh, live according to the laws of the universe. Okay? In, uh, according to the laws of the universe. And it, it, is, it is very, very, very interesting. And the one that I wrote in Papiamiento, my native language, uh, is a, a condensation of these two books. Uh, in which I, I brought the highlights of these two books in Papiamento. His third book was in the native language called Ciencia Acercando el Mundo Espiritual. Padu's creative talents would not only touch on music and literature, but also as a painter. He has achieved his share of recognition in many parts of the world with this art form as well. When I was very young already, you know, I, I, I used to paint uh, on canvas with oil. And uh, at that time, uh, not many people in Aruba was painting, was a painter. Only I was doing it in Aruba. And I like to paint scenes of Aruba all the time. And one of my paintings was selected to be uh, exhibited at the New York World Fair in 1939. Imagine, I was very young at the time. So, uh, and all of us, because uh, not only in Aruba, uh, uh, the, pain, uh, the painting of Maya has been there, but painting of all the countries in the world, one painting of all the other countries in the world has been collected and been exhibited at the New York World Fair in 1939. Considered an autodidact painter, his style combines realism with colors that create abstract compositions, which he has been quoted as saying, is pleasing to the eye of the observer. Throughout his career, he has been honored numerous times, but none could have been more prestigious than his knighthood by Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands. From Holland, I have received, I, I, have, I was consecrated as a knight in the order of Oranje Nassau. No? And then later I was uh, promoted to officer in the order of Oranje Nassau. And uh, uh, also in Venezuela, uh, I, I was uh, also decorated in Caballero in la Orden de Andres Veo, segunda clase, no? Andres Veo. Even though he has been knighted and has been showered with recognitions, it has not changed him as a human being. He claims he stayed the same down-to-earth person as he was before. Here, he explains the effects of such honors. Well, it, it gives me, you know, uh, satisfaction that people do appreciate what I'm doing, you see. And it gives me a, a sense of well-being and, and that people uh, are, uh, are appreciating, they, they do appreciate what I'm doing, you know, and that is very important, and that will uh, stimulate, stimulate me to continue to do uh, that, uh, to, do, to do that work in the field, also in, not only in the art of music, uh, also in the field of uh, uh, painting and uh, literature, as you know. The music of Aruba continues to evolve as young artists are developed. One, Jonathan Vieira, inspired by Padu, is now commanding his own place in the musical history of the island. Being the son of entrepreneurs, Jonathan grew up surrounded by high achievers and very motivated family members. He started playing the piano at the age of four, and throughout the years has played for a variety of audiences on three continents and made numerous television appearances. A major influence aside from Padu is uh, my grandfather. 
he would always uh, sit with me down at the piano and talk to me about you know different styles of music he grew up on and um, he, he taught me basically a lot a lot about uh, whatever I know right now and also introduced me also to, to even Padu's music because you know at, I would I used to go to his home and he would show me the CDs or the cassette tapes or whatever it is and then I would uh, he would sit down with me and ask me to play those particular songs and um, that's how I started learning them um, st start learning them and the more and more I practiced the better I got at it and um, eventually you know I got m many occasions that I was very privileged to play with Padu In the mid-90s, playing with a band named Jade, he won first prize in the music category locally and fifth internationally in the Aruba World Youth Festival. Over the last 10 years, he has written music for the Queen of Holland and played his music before a parade of dignitaries. My main drive is to conserve um, my cultural music because I can never run away from it. I grew up with it, I was born with it, um, lived with it, did everything with it. Um, like I said, my grandfather was a very, um, very, uh, a major, major influence in my life, and having having the chance to to work my, with my style of music and and, and add my own new ideas with it, um, hopefully with that I can I can you know, take this 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 music to another level. So in the year 2000, suggested by his family. He took the initiative to ask Padu Del Carib to join him in a project called Two Generations. Basically, this project has Padu performing some of the biggest hits from his career, and Jonathan introducing his material in a new style. I, I see Jonathan as a very good pianist and composer. Not only that, uh, Jonathan plays the piano on a very high Devil professionally. In the album Two Generations, the contrast between the artists could be made quite clearly. The recordings of Padu were kept traditional and used only typical rhythm like folklore waltzes, mazurka, tumba, and even a mambo adapted by Padu. Jonathan's pieces were original as well, but use more modern instruments and also a relatively new rhythm unique to the island called Asembejo. He spent a decade working with these contemporary elements and adapting them to his style of playing. He also added to his album a great and respected young talent from the island, Asvali Lopez. With the help of her voice, the song Bo Amor, Your Love, reached number one on the charts in Aruba. Since its release, the album received critical acclaim in Aruba, and two of its cuts peaked in the top ten. The album was unveiled three days before the National Day of Aruba on March 14th, and was a total success since then.